Welcome back, I'm Jeremy from Hazel Tools and I'm your YouTube Snap-on guy. Today we're gonna to take a look at the new KCP 1423 toolbox. We got them in all the different colors. So I really think Snap-on hit a home run with this one. Raise the toolbox up, now we're looking at 43 inches tall, so it's a little bit higher. For some of them technicians whose toolbox, you can't go with a real deep one, but they want that extra space. So now we got the extra drawer in there. So you got three long drawers, one for sockets, the next one for wrenches, and then put your power tools in that third one. That's how I see a lot of my guys doing it. If you do it different, let me know in the comments how you're setting yours up. In addition to that, they've added the power drawer. So now we got power right in the toolbox. You can keep your stuff secure. Below that, we have the organization drawer for all your power tools so that they're sitting the right way, easy to grab, easy to find. You know that you got them put away, they're not lost. And then they also put the speed drawer in here. So for the guys that have different, who knows, electronics or nuts and bolts, things like that, you can keep your drawer organized with all the little knickknacks. And as you can see, we got the black on black. We have the black with the purple as well as the storm gray with black. And then still sitting on the pallet in the cardboard at the warehouse, I do have the white with the blue trim. And I think they all look great. I'm kind of, I really like the white color. Let me know what you think about the different colors that we have to offer. I'm starting to see some of the posts online that some of you guys are already getting these toolboxes. So it sure looks like it's a great hit. I brought in all four that they offered in the flyer. Like I said, the white, the black with purple, the black on black and the storm gray, just because give the customers an option of what they like best. How about the gunmetal gray tools that are out there? Man, I think these things just look awesome, especially this PH3050B. This thing is a beast. Nothing but awesome comments. It has a four position regulator down below. Some of the guys don't know about that. And uh, I've even had a couple customers myself tell me that their air hammer seemed like it was getting a little weak. And then we looked and it wasn't dialed in properly. See the little divot there? And then there's around the ring, there are different settings where the little divot is you want to go ahead and turn that to the max which is four so that red piece is a power regulator this has been on our air hammers on all the 3050s so if your air hammer is seeming like it's a little bit weak you can go ahead and adjust this make sure it's that before you send it in and spend the money on the flat rate repair so this week I'm gonna be finishing up the master of the pit. So I have the grill on board. We have the burger press. I'm sure you guys have seen these. So that's been going over huge. Uh, the upright socket roasting pans. As that's been a lot of fun. A lot of the customers coming on, picking out some of the tools they like, getting the freebies and then Friday, I'll be doing the drawing for my customers for the Traeger grill you see right here. All set up. Hopefully they cook me something, at least a burger or a brat or something. So in the Master of the Pit tool program that I got were these plier sets. This is a PL330ACF. And I wanna open these up. These things have huge pliers in there. Got some nice needle nose and the cutters. And we're gonna use the purple Kershaw today. Get this opened right up. So inside the kit, you get three larger sets of pliers than the standard ones. These are the standard 47 ACFs. And let's go ahead and look. So it's about a good, oh, inch, inch and a half larger than the standard ones. Still a three position jaw, and it does have the talon grip. A Little bit longer of a needle nose, and once again, talon grip inside. And then these cutters. And these things, you got some great leverage with them. And this is a 312 CF. So that's the PL330. ACF kit. They are available in red, orange, and green. Uh, I sold out of the greens already. I, this is my last red set, um, but I just wanted to show you guys so you know it's out there. Next up, the PR7 and PR8 
internal and external snap ring pliers. This is the PR8. This is an external version. The PR7 is the internal version. They have a lock on there. You can see as you start to spread that snap ring, it'll lock in place so that you don't have to have both hands on there and it keeps that snap ring right where you want it. Large jaws, there are available jaws that are bent as well that you can get. Um, I've ordered them for a couple of my customers for specific applications. So the PR7 and PR8 internal and external large snap ring pliers. All right, my friends, it's great to be back with you again. I gotta get rolling, it's getting late here. I'll be back before you know it. I appreciate you spending some time with me. I gotta get Trekkie's haircut. Probably take me a couple days to do it because we only get a little bit of time after work each day, but it's gotta get done, right? So on that note, I'm out of here and I'll see you next time.